Good evening, people. How are you? How are you, beautiful people? Who's present today? Let me see. William Antonio, Rene Alexi, Elsa, Erenia, and Jessica Perez. Welcome. Welcome to the class, right? Today, we are going to start with a new unit. The name of the unit is, where do you work? Where do you work, Javier? I work in English Corporativo, right? Okay. Uh, other example could be, um, let me see, where do you work, um, William? I work in Serpas y López. Ah. Where do you work, let me see, Brenda Elizabeth, I work in Hotel Mirador Plaza, right? Etc. Etc. This is the, the the unit number number two, three, sorry, unit number three. And let's start immediately with the presentation, right? Ready for the action? Okie dokie. Okay. Sorry, let me see. Uh, there is a problem here. Okay. Good. So, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to English for Work. Inglés Corporativo in Sapor and teacher Javier Gómez say, welcome to this class, right? Okay, let's start with the objective. René Alexi, can you read the objective for tonight, please? Hello, teacher. Can, can, you, can you read the objective for this class, please? Where you work uh, will be of you describe the different. Uh, okay, wait. Describe, 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 mm -hmm. and the different and departments in my work, places and what they do. Excellent. Also, okay. So this is the topic. This is the topic for tonight. The objective. Excuse me. Okay, and these are the departments in the company. For example, I have some companies here, right? I have Avicola Salazar, Cusca, Cusca Chapa, Curtis, Industria, right? Dirección de Energéticos y Carbu Hidrocarburo, <laughs> something like that, sorry. Okay. Eh, General Depot, Grupo Miguel, Hotel Mirador Plaza, Inversiones Santa Bárbara, JM Telcom, en mm, Mediterranean Shopping, Chipping, Chipping, yes, yeah, Chipping, right? These are the company. Ah, Serpas y López, too, right? Okay. So these are the departments in your companies. In some companies, yes, in some companies, no. But let's say start with the first one, production. Production, right? The Department of, Con of Production control and supervise the production workforce and inventory. The production control and supervise the production workforce and inventory, right? Okay. The second one is Research and development. Research and development, they develop, desarrollan, llevan a cabo, right? Develop, design, new, or improve existing products or process, right? So, mm, I imagine in, in a dog, for example, right? The research department investigate new shoes. New shoes eh, or new designs of shoes, right? Right. Or maybe if you have an existing product, existing shoes, right? 
So they improve it. Lo mejoran, right? Improve it. Okay? Then, the next is purchasing. Purchasing is buy and acquire raw material. Materia prima, right? Raw material. Production equipment, etc., etc. Okay? Good. And in this case is for the organization, right? For the organization. Just give me a second here. Okay, here. Now, marketing. Marketing is the research, you know, la investigación, research. Research is synonym of investigation, right? Research and identify what customers want and need at the right place. Okay? Good. And next one. Human resources management. Human resources management. Recruit. You know, reclutar, contratar, select and train new employees, new employees, no employer, right? For the right job or for the correct job in the company. Okay? So this is the Department of Human Resources Management. It's Recurso Humano, right? Okay? Okay, and let me see. Next one. Accounting and finance. Keep the financial record of transactions involving monetary inflows and outflows. Inflows means entrada, right? Outflows means salida. Okay, so again, the production, research and de development, purchasing, marketing, human resources management, Accounting and finance. Okay. Of course, there are more departments. Sometimes in big companies, we have more departments, right? But these are the, like, the principal departments in a company, right? Okay. So let me see. Uh, Freddy, uh, what department do you have in your company? Uh, what I hope in calidad, teacher, control de calidad. Uh, quality control. Uh -huh. quality, Qual control. quality control. Is, is this right? Let me, let me copy. Okay. Quality, quality control. Uh -huh. Excellent. Very good. Uh, Rene Alexi, what about you? Operario. What? No, no, but this is your 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 job, your work, right? I mean departments, departments in your company. For example, do you have human resources department? Hay recursos humanos en su compañía? Human yes. resources. Ah, okay, good. So yes. this is a department, right? Okay, thank you. What about you? you? Sorry? No, nada, teacher. Yes, I swim. René Lexi said, no, nada, yes. Sí, yo nado, yes. <laughs> no, okay. por error, quería decir de nada en inglés, you're welcome. You're welcome, okay, very good, uh -huh. René Lexi. Yes, Thank teacher. You. Thank you. Now, Delia, eh, what about your company, Delia? Do you have similar departments in, the, in your company? We have a despacho. Mm, dispatch. 
dispatch. Dispatch, uh -huh. Uh -huh. And we have um, a, a account and, and finance. Ah, okay. Nice. Um, we are a small company. Ah, Only okay. 11 uh, employees. Okay. Mm -hmm. But accounting and finance is necessary, right? Mm -hmm. Thank you, Delia. Thank yes. you very much. Okay. Thank you. What about you, Jose Atilio, in your company? What departments are active in in your... I don't know, you work independent, right, Jose Atilio? Yes, but uh, I work at um, Constructora. Ah, okay, in a Constructora. Before. Uh -huh. okay. Yeah. And did they have this department, Jose Atilio? In the construction. Yeah. Yeah. In number three, purchase purchasing. Purchasing. Compras. Departamento de compras, uh -huh. right? Purchasing. Uh-huh. Um, okay. um research and development. Ah, research right? and development. You know, investigación mm -hmm. y desarrollo. Investigación y desarrollo. Uh -huh. Of course, it's important for a constructora, right? Because uh -huh. and um, they counting and finance. And finance. Okay. Finance. Mm -hmm. Nice. Thank you. Uh, Erenia, what about you? Ser Pasi López. What? What? Um, Teacher. Uh, yeah, Jose Atilio. The number three, uh, the pronunciation is. Purchasing. Pur purchasing. Purchasing. Okay, thank you. Okay. Now, Erenia, what departments do you have uh, in your company? Mm -hmm. Human human resources management and and, pro, and production production. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You have production in your company, right? Okay, nice. Let me see. I have two messages, right? Tengo dos. Pido permiso, Jesse. Lo malo es que no identifico cuál de las tres Jesse es. Bueno, ya vamos a ver. Y Jonathan no va a estar ahora, verdad? Jonathan Caballero. Permítame. Jonathan, no, no, Jonathan no es caballero. Bueno, perdón. No, no es apellido caballero. Sonó algo feo, ¿verdad? Jonathan no es caballero. Ok. Eh, siempre. Ah, René Alexi, René Alexi, pero acabo de ver a René Alexi. No, no me mandó usted mensaje, no. Sí, es que le, le, le había comunicado que está un, un, un rato de oyente, pero ya estuvo. Ya, ya. ya estuvo, ah, bye. Che, ya. excelente. Ya estuvo. Es que me pone Alex, entonces ahí me confunde. Así me aparece. Sí, a veces bien el nombre. Ah, Alex Caballero, me aparece en el, en el, sí. en el WhatsApp. Ajá. Sí, teacher. Ok, teacher. No. Ajá, yes. Hay question for Erenia. Ajá. Ah, yes, yes, yes. She is an engineer. I don't... Yeah. Erenia is an engineer, right? Yes. 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 Okay. Good. Yes. Ya terminó. Ya finalizó. Eh, yeah. Are you, are you yes. finish? Yes. Está bien joven. Ah, yes. A, Parece, I ese, pero no tanto. <laughs> I, I understand, Jose Atilio. I understand what you say. Uh -huh. Okay. No. Yes. She is, she she graduated. No es que nosotros vemos una materia media media complicada. Now, uh, do you mm -hmm. think that Erena is not capable? Of course, she's good. <laughs> she's good, right? Yes or no, Erenia? Yes. Yes. <laughs> Women have the power. <laughs> okay. Excellent. No, no, eh, Jose Atilio, it's good to see women being professional, architects, eh, doctors. Uh, in the future, for example, we can have a, a, a woman president in El Salvador. We don't know. It's a possibility, right? <laughs> okay, not this year because the candidates in this moment are not women. But maybe in the next election in 2000, what? 2026 or 28, something, I don't know. But it's possible. Women to the power. Women to the power, right, Erenia? <laughs> okay, good. Now, Teacher, in my career, is little woman. Ah, oh, okay. Few, um, few. Few. Uh -huh. Excuse me, few, few women, women right? studying, studying engineering. Few women, look. 
women, right? A woman, few women. Mm -hmm. And little women, is, women. Uh, little, little what? Little uh, milk means poquita leche, right? Ah, little okay. milk. But when it's contable, uh, when it's contable, it's few. 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 Okay. Few. Uh -huh. So few women in engineer, yes. Excellent also for, so double congratulations to, to Erenia. So, <laughs> okay, class. Now I will take the attendance. What time is it? Ah, yes, it's time, right? I have a... Es que el problema que no sé cuál de las tres, Jessica, me, me pide permiso ahí. Bueno, ya vamos a to tomar la asistencia. Todo. Okay, Elsa. Present teacher. Thank you. Jessica Carolina. Mm, probablemente sea Jessica Carolina. Jessica Araceli. Hmm. Vamos resolviendo el misterio. <risa> ¿Quién será? Jessica Carolina, Jessica Araceli, la que mandó el mensaje. Lo veremos en un momento. Ok, eh, Estenia. Present teacher. Everything is okay today, Estenia. You're in your house. Estoy como a 15 minutos. Ah, Hoy good. llego más temprano que ayer. Excellent, excellent. Tell me when you get home. Tell me when you get home, right? Ok, okay. thank you. No problem. Ready? Freddy, Freddy. Present teacher. Okay. Congratulations Present. that your internet is working good. Nice. Yes. So, tratam. Okay. Kenya. Present. Gracias, Maria. Present. Delia. Present teacher. Ada. Ada se sentía un poquito mal. Me dijo que tal vez de oyente, ¿verdad? Si me ven por ahí a Ada en la pantalla, me avisan porque solo de oyente va a estar, me dijo. Quiero ver. Ada, Ada, no. No, no se ha conectado. Se sentía muy mal, me dijo. Bueno, esperamos que se mejore, ¿verdad? Ok. Eh, Jonathan. Present teacher. René Alexi. Present teacher. Brenda. Present. Ingrid. Present teacher. Jessica Pérez. Present teacher. Good. José Atilio. Present teacher. Brenda Lee, que está de oyente. Y María René. Present. Thank you. Evelyn. Evelyn. Acabo de ver Evelyn por acá. Hello, hello, Evelyn. Me pareció ver a Evelyn. Estaba conectada. ¿Alguien la vio? No, ya no está conectada, pero sí me, me pareció ver la imagen de ella. Bueno, ok. Estamos pendientes. William. Present. Thank you. Erenia. Present. Okie dokie. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Okay, now, repeat after me, please. Repeat after me. Production. Control and supervise the production workforce and inventory. Production. Control and supervise the production workforce and inventory. Research and development. Research and development. Develop, design new, or improve existing products. Or processes. Processes. Remember the rule of yesterday, right? ¿Se recuerdan la, la regla que practicamos ayer? So in this case is. Sonido silbadito. Processes. 
right? Cuando termina en S. Processes, right? Okay. Repeat after me. Develop, design new, or improve existing products or processes. Purchasing. Purchasing. Buy and acquire. Buy and acquire raw material. Production equipment, etc. For the use of the organization. For the use of the organization. Purchasing. Buy and acquire raw material, production equipment, etc., for the use of the organization. Marketing. Research and identify what customers want and need at the right place. Research and identify what customers want and need at the right place. Human resources the management. Human resources management. Recruit, select, and train new employees. Recruit, select, and train new employees. For the right job in the company. For the right job in the company. Recruit, select, and train new employees for the right job in the company. Accounting and finance. Accounting and finance. Keep the financial record. Keep the financial record of transactions. Transactions. Involving monetary inflows. Involving monetary inflows and outflows. Inflows and outflows. Keep the financial record of transactions involving monetary inflows and outflows. Okay, some of these words are difficult, so let's pronounce one by one, right? Production. Workforce. Workforce. Inventory. Inventory. Research. Research. Development. Development. Develop, design, improve, processes, processes, purchasing, 
purchasing, acquire, acquire, row, 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 row material, equipment, 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 identify, identify the right place, the right place. Resources, resources. Management, management. Recruit, recruit. Employees, employees. Right job, right job. Accounting, accounting. Finance, finance. Financial, financial. Transactions, transactions. Inflows, outflows. Inflows, outflows. Okay, so we're going to read together, right? Uh, please, number one. Number one. Okay, give me a second. Jessica Carolina. Jessica Araceli. Okay, good. Now, number one, eh, Elsa, production, right? Number two, Freddy, research. Number three, purchasing, purchasing, Kenya. Gracias, Maria, marketing. Delia, uh, human resources management, Jonathan, accounting and finance, right? Okay, let's read. Production. Control and supervise the production, workforce, and inventory. Congratulations. You're making an effort, right, Elsa? Elsa está haciendo un esfuerzo, así que la felicitamos ahí. Que, que se mejore ahí, ¿ok? Mielita, Thank you, teacher. Un juguito, de li una limonada bien fuerte ahí, va. <laughs> okay, number Thank two. You, You're welcome. Research and development. Reception and development. No, no, no. Deve Re wait, Freddy. Research. 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 Mm -hmm. Research and no, 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 develop. No, no, no. no, no. Re research. 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 No, no. Research. Re re search. 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 Okay, excellent. Research and development. Uh -huh. Develop, design, new or improve. Exist. Existing. Existing product or processors. Processes. Processors. No, no. Processes. E processors. No, no. Remember the is. Recuerda la regla que vimos ayer. Is. Sí. Is. Ears. Processes. Processors. Okay. Improve. 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 Yes. Okay. Number three. Thank you. Fred. Purchasing. Buy and acquire raw material production equipment. 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 REC for the no, use. No, no, et cetera. Ay, et, et cetera. Like in, in Spanish, et cetera, et cetera. For the use of the organization. Thank you, Kenya. Marketing. Marketing. 
research and identify one's identify. customers. Sorry, gracias, Maria. Identify. Identify what customers want and need at the right place. Number five. Human resource manage, manager. Manage. Manage, no, manage. manage management. Eh, okay. Okay. Human resource manage, management. Recruit, select, and train new employees. No, wait, wait, wait. Brain. Recruit, comma. Recruit, select, and train new employees for the right job in the company. Okay, thank you. Now, six. Accounting in finance. Keep the finance records of transactions involved involving monetary inflows in outflows. 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 Very good. Very good. Thank you, Jonathan. Que bueno, vamos mejorando todos en la pronunciación. Me, me gusta mucho. Me, I, I like it. I like it a lot, right? Okay, good. Now let's continue, right? This is the introduction. The introduction of the topic, right? But here, let me explain. What is workforce? Workforce is, in Spanish, this, right? Then we have inventory. Develop, design, improve, v, improve, acquire, acquire, raw material. Te lo deseando el mal pasa. Jonathan, sí, no. pero cada quien es su vacil, ma, el suyo es John, otro. Yo, Jonathan, otro, quien... Jonathan, Jonathan, hello, Jonathan. Se prendió. <laughs> okay, thank you very much. And thank you, Freddy. <laughs> Come on, Freddy. Ya vi que a Freddy le gusta estar viendo a los vecinos también, ma. <laughs> okay, thank you. Let's continue, right? Then, uh, research. Listen, research. Research. Customers. Customers. Recruit. Recruit. Train. Train. Inflows. Inflows. Outflows. Outflows. Okay. Any question? question? Yes, tell me, Jose Atilio. En una materia que nosotros vemos eso en flow es otra, otra cosa. Uh, what I understand, Jose Atilio, inflows is like eh, las no. entradas. Uh -huh. Pero para nosotros es como un flujo, un caudal de entrada. Ajá, no, no, that's it. Eh, uh, por ejemplo, si hablamos de en materia de, de, de medio ambiente, el inflow es como, vaya, digamos, si hay una lluvia, por ejemplo, y hay, eh, se anega un, un lugar, o sea, se, se inunda, ¿no? entonces eh, la entrada de agua no es, se le llama como inflow también, porque eh, para decir el río fluye, the river flows. Ok, bueno, hasta, hasta hace poco había unas canciones que decían, dame mucho flow, ok, Much, mucha entrada, ¿no? Como, ok, entonces, sí, me imagino que de acuerdo a la carrera, la palabra tiene su connotación, ¿verdad? En, en este caso estamos hablando de dinero, es entradas de dinero, que right? Es la que todos queremos. <ríe> ok, now, eh, other question? Okay, let's continue. Let's continue. 
Now, remember, we were talking about the simple present, right? Affirmative, negative, and just no question. Today, we are going to introduce the information question. Remember when I say, for example, eh, Jose Atilio, do you like pupusas? Yes, of course. Yes, I do. Oh, no, I ah, don't. Yes, I do. <laughs> oh, no, I don't. No, no, your answer is good. Su respuesta está perfecta, Jose Atilio. Solo que aquí estamos hablando de gramática. Es que miren, yo les voy a ser honesto, ¿verdad? Este inglés es el inglés de libro. O sea, no es, en la práctica no se habla así. Así como en el español, ¿no? O sea, en español nosotros decimos, espérate, purate, tate quieto, ¿no? Pero en la escuela nos enseñamos que eh, tate es, es permanecer quieto, ¿no? <risa> permanecer entonces, lo mismo sucede con inglés, ¿verdad? Así es que ustedes no tengan pena de contestar como quieran, ¿sí? Siéntanse libres, ¿no? Yo no los voy a regañar. Solo que eh, cuando estamos viendo un tema de gramática, pues ni modo, hay que, no sé, como re seguirnos al, al juego de la gramática aquí, ¿verdad? Así que su respuesta está correcta, José Tillo. No, yes, I do. Yes, yes. Ok. Yes, I do. But when I say... Eh, José Atilio, where do you eat pupusas? ¿Dónde come pupusas? Where do you eat pupusas? I eat pupusas in uh, Suiza. Suiza, pupusería Suiza. Ok, mm -hmm. nice. Ok, with category, right? <laughs> ok, nice. So, listen, where do you eat pupusas? In pupusería Suiza, right? Eh, José Atilio dice, where do you eat pupusa? Yes, I do. No, right. No. Is a specific place. One specific information. For that reason, that is the name. Information question. Other name for this are WH word. Why WH? Because of the words begin with WH. WH, WH, etc., etc., right? So these are the information question or WH question. Listen, they are used to request information. Preguntar información. Dónde, cuándo, por qué, a dónde, con quién, de quién, a quién, por qué, etcétera, etcétera. Right? A qué hora. So, information. That has not previously mentioned, right? Unlike just no question, right? contrario a las preguntas de sí, ¿no? WH information question always contain a supposition, right? A supposition, right? Remember, in yes, no question, we only expect or oh, yes or no. But in information question, no, it's different. There is a supposition. They always begin with a WH word. What, where, when, why, which, how, whose, whom, and who. These are the most common examples of WH word, right? And when do we, do we use what? When we talk about things, cosas, cosas, right? Abstract or concrete? Who is for people? Quien? Where is for place? Donde, right? When is for time? You say, eh, cuando, right? Whose is for possession? The quien? The quien es esto? Whose possession? Right? Whose? Why? We say reason. Por qué? Why? Which is a choice? Is an option. You say, cual? Cual de estos? Which? And whom refers to people as an object? We say, uh, a quien? A quien? Quien no? It's a quien, right? And finally, manner is about, uh, how is about manner? Manera or form. Right? So these are the WH words. Repeat after me, please. Repeat after me. What? Who? Where? When? Whose? Why? Which? Whom? How? 
Ok, let me, let me explain this. En el inglés antiguo, who era exclusivo para el sujeto, el que, el que hacía la acción, right? Y whom era usado como objeto, el que recibía la acción. Pero en el inglés moderno, who se puede usar como sujeto y también como objeto. Entonces, el whom cae así como, como en desuso, ¿no? Todavía se usa en algún, más que todo en inglés británico, pero se usa menos, ¿ok? Ok, good. Any question? Questions, questions? Okay, so let's go. Teacher, oh, yes? I have a, I have a dude. Yes, tell me, Elsa. Eh, con who? Well, ¿cómo sería? Es como quién o, oh, o cómo? I, I will explain, I will explain. I will give you some example, right? Okay. Okay, eh, Delia. Oh. Okay, good. Delia, ya recibí el mensaje, no hay problema. No problem, yes. Eh, siempre que tengan una emergencia pueden apagar la, com la computadora, <risa> no, la cámara, sorry. la cámara, ¿verdad? Pero ya saben que según Insafor, pues hay que tenerla encendida todo el tiempo, oigan. Ok, let's continue. Eh, I will give you some example, right? Who makes pupusas? ¿Quién hace pupusas? Right? Eh, nosotros no sabemos quién es esa persona. ¿Quién es esa persona que realiza la acción? ¿Ok? ¿Quién hace pupusas? Who makes pupusas? Ok. And then it's a, who do you make pupusas to? ¿Para quién tú, tú, el que está, tú estás haciendo la acción, haces pupusas? Esta palabra who podemos ponerla como whom o podemos ponerla como who. La vamos a dejar como whom para que entendamos la diferencia. Pero se puede de ambos, ¿verdad? Entonces, whom es la persona que recibe las pupusas. <ríe> Ese queremos ser todo, ¿va? El que, al que le dan las pupusas. ¿Y quién es el que hace? Esas pupusas. Vamos a poner alguien específico, ¿verdad? Vamos a ver, Kenia, ¿a usted le gusta hacer pupusas en casita? Sí. Ah, bueno, entonces. Judas Kenia. Me imagino que para su familia, ¿verdad? Judas Kenia make pupusas tú. ¿Para quién hace pupusas Kenia? Ok. Eh, no sabemos. Por eso preguntamos, ¿no? Entonces. Esa persona va a recibir las pupusas. Ella es el objeto, el receiver. ¿Ok? El receiver de las pupusas. Entonces, en este caso, whom se usa como su, perdón, objeto. Vamos a ponerlo aquí abajo. Object, right? Ese objeto o el receptor de la acción. Y en primer caso, este es el, el maker, el doer, o el sujeto, el mismo, ¿verdad? Subject. Ok, este es el que hace la acción, ¿sí? Ok. Elsa, do you understand? <laughs> Perdón, sí, teacher. ¿Algún, ¿Quiere otro ejemplo o estamos bien ahí? Uh, otro. Otro ejemplo. Vale, okay, uh. vamos, vamos a hacer. Who, vamos a hacerlo como, como un ejercicio, si quieren. Who gives money? Who eh, who let me see another example who take you 
the big U home. Who do they stay home? Okay. Example number one. Who is the subject or the object? Vamos a ver, chicos. ¿Sería el sujeto o el objeto? Jessica Araceli, welcome. Va a estar de oyente. Muy bien, Jessica. Ya, la, ya le notamos la asistencia, Jessica Araceli. Ok. Ok. Who is the subject of the object? Vamos a ver. I think uh, uh -huh. what it's do you think? Uh, subject. It's subject. Correct. Right. Now, who takes you home? Who takes you home? Is a subject or an object class? An object. Object. Sure. Subject. It's a subject, right? It's a subject. Mm. And who? Who do they do they take home? Is a subject or an object? Object. Object. It's an object, right? Y si es el objeto, debe haber otro sujeto por ahí, ¿verdad? ¿Cuál sería en este caso? They. They. This, they is el sujeto. De es el que realiza la acción y quien la recibe es la persona que llevan a casa, ¿verdad? Y en este caso podemos poner whom. Whom, ¿ok? Pero no siempre, no se confundan. Ah, como no lleva la M, entonces es sujeto. No, no, no. Ya les dije que whom está un, sí, un poquito caído en desuso. Pero aún se usa, pero no mucho. Normalmente usamos who como sujeto y como objeto a la vez, ¿verdad? Okay. Yo no recordaba haberlo visto nunca. Nunca. Oh. No, okay. no recordaba haberlo visto. Ah, okay. Bueno, ahorita ya estamos descubriendo el tema. Ok. ¿Y cómo identificar? ¿Cómo lo sabemos? Bueno, ya dijimos que debemos saber, en primer lugar, si el who es el que hace la acción o el que la recibe. En este sí, caso, si usted sí. sabe... eh, va a temblar ahorita, teacher. Está temblando, sí. Sí, está temblando, está sí. Temblando y yo estoy en un edificio, así que <ríe> se siente más bonito. Por lo visto, va a salir toda la noche con réplicas, así que duerman con ropita. <ríe> ok, con cualquier cosa. ¿no? <ríe> ok, very good. Ya, ya pasó, ¿verdad? Ya relajemos. Um... <risa> sí, bueno, eh, espero que todos ustedes y sus familias estén bien, porque el, el, el de hace rato fue más fuerte, ¿no? 6.1. Así es que, ni modo, ya sabemos en qué país vivimos. Gracias a Dios no hemos tenido algo fuerte durante, durante muchos años y espero que no sea esta noche, espero, Dios mío, que no sea esta noche, ¿verdad? Porque ya hace ratito que no tenemos un buen zamaquión. Ustedes siempre tranquilitos, miren. Solo acuérdense dónde está la puerta para <ríe> salir, ¿verdad? Tranquilamente, eso sí. Ok, let's continue. Let's continue. Ya, concentremos. So, the clue here is that after who, right, we have a verb, you know? Después del who, viene un verbo inmediatamente. Miren, gives, takes. ¿eh? Hay un verbo, makes. ¿eh? Hay un verbo inmediatamente. Entonces, en este caso, cuando hay un verbo, ¿ok? Entonces, es who es el sujeto. Pero si hay otra cosa aquí, como en el caso de esto, miren, que aparece un auxiliar, en el presente simple, porque hay otro, hay otro, ¿verdad? Hay futuro, hay... Okay. Cuando aparece un auxiliar como en este, 
y otro sujeto, otro fulanito, cualquiera, they, we, a Kenya, my friend, etcétera, etcétera. Cuando aparece otra persona, otro fulanito, entonces el who va a ser un objeto, ¿sí? Porque el que realiza la acción es el fulanito que está ahí, miren. ¿Sí? Este fulanito se lleva a alguien que no sabemos quién es, por eso estamos preguntando, a casa. ¿Ok? ¿Understand? Yes, sir. Ok. No, thank you very much. I still feel the, the <laughs> because my chair has, uh, uh, has wheel, right? I mean, la silla tiene <laughs> rodo, mi, mi silla en la que estoy sentado, entonces siento que todavía está moviendo. <laughs> ok, let's continue, right? Okay, class, what is the structure of the of the information question? For example, we have information question with the verb to be, right? For example, we say, where are they from? When you say, where are they from? Uh, yes, I am. No, right? No. Where are they from? They are from El Salvador. Where is he from? He is from Cujucuyo, right? Where are my friends from? They are from Colombia. Colombia, right? Saludos muy cordiales a Colombo, hasta allá a Colombia. Okay, good. Then this is the structure, right? WH word, verb to be, subject, and complement. What is your name, lady? Okay. Then this is with the verb to be. Now we do and does. WS word, do and does, subject, verb, and complement. I'm sorry. So we say, what does he do on vacation? What does he do on vacation? When do you play football? WS word, auxiliary. Subject, verb, and complement, right? Okay? Good. Now, please, repeat after me. Repeat after me. Where are they from? What is your name, lady? What does he do on vacation? When do you play football? Questions? Questions about the questions? <laughs> okay. Remember, there is a difference between verb to be and simple present. Last class, we were practicing the yes, no question, right? We say, eh, are you from El Salvador? And you say, yes, I am. Do you live in El Salvador? Yes, I do. Yes, I am. And yes, I do. It depends on the auxiliary. Are, I am, right? Do, yes, I do. Or no, I don't, right? Okay. And in this specific example, right, we say, where are they from? I am from. You don't say, I do, I do, no. It's I am from. What do you do on vacation? I, I play football. I go to the beach. I eat pupusas. So you give simple present activities, right? Mm -hmm. So, do you understand the difference between the verb to be and simple present? ¿Sí entendemos la diferencia entre el verbo to be y el presente simple? What I want to tell you is that in both we use the information question, right? With verb to be and with the simple present. 
But now let's focus in the simple present, right? Oh no, we have another example here. Another example. But now let's go to the questions related with the simple present. What do I do? I supervise the production workforce. Oh, you supervise the production workforce. Where do you work? I work in the accounting department. When do we go to meetings? We go to meetings two times a week. How do they plan the marketing? They investigate the customer's needs. What time do you take breakfast? I take breakfast at 8 a.m. Okay, very good. Now let's practice. Uh, let me say, um, Jonathan, please. Jonathan, you make the question, the question, right? And Rene Alexi, you make the answers. Questions, Jonathan, only Jonathan, and answers, only, only Rene Alexi, right? Okay, go ahead. What do I do? I sorbited the products warfare. Where do you work? I work in the accounting department. When do we go to meet? It? We go to meet to today and wait. How do they plan the marketing? They investigate the customer needs. What time do you take breakfast? I breakfast. I that break by and eight a.m. 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 Okay, thank you very much. Now look at this meetings, meetings, marketing, breakfast, breakfast, production workforce. Production workforce, accounting, accounting, customers, customers. Okay, good. Now, look at the example here, right? The specific. When do you play football? When do you play football? It says, I play football on Saturdays, for example, right? I play football on Saturday, for example, right? Okay. Give me a second. I have messages. Tengo un mensaje en el grupo. Eh, Janet Fuentes. No puede acceder. Regálame un segundito. Este, alguien me hace el favor de mandar nuevamente el link. Parece que uh, ayer no lo enviaron al grupo, por favor, porque alguien me está pidiendo ahí que no puede ingresar. Si alguien me hace el favor de, de mandar el link nuevamente. Ah, ok. Ahí está ya. Thank you, thank you very much. Ahí está, excelente. Wow. <risa> ya, ya es suficiente. Thank you. Congratulations. Ah, rápida respuesta. Ok. Si hacemos una colecta humanitaria, creo que rapidito me, me van a ayudar, ¿verdad? Ok. Thank you. Thank you very much. Ok. Eh, let me see. So this is. Regálame un segundito. Quiero ubicar. Um, ah, Evelyn, Evelyn es la que no se puede conectar. Espero que ahora sí le sirva uno de esos links que ustedes enviaron, ¿verdad? Ok. 
sí, me extraña porque Evelyn como que entró y luego ya, ya se salió. Ok. Uh, let me see. Thank you, Freddy. Thank you very much. Now we're going to make some questions, right? Uh, let's start with Erenia. Erenia, what time do you usually go to bed? Mimir. Seven. Uh, Mimir. Uh, what time do you go to bed? I, uh, I usually, I usually, at. Uh, I usually go. Go to bed. To, to bed. Uh, at 10 p.m. Oh, excellent. Now, uh, William, what time do you usually get up in the morning? Ah. Kiki, kiki. What time do you usually get up, William? Uh, I usually is, uh, um, get up. I usually get up. I usually get up. Uh, Six a.m. Six a.m. Oh, nice, very good. And let me see, mm, Maria Rene. What, what do you usually have for breakfast in the morning? What do you usually have? I usually have breakfast at no, eight no, no, o'clock. No. When I say what do you have is. Eh, plantain, fried plantain, platanito fritos, cream, beans, fruit. Ah, que usualmente como. Ajá, uh -huh, yes. I usually eat fruit. Fruit. What else? Nice. Healthy, saludable, right? Nice. What else? Do you have apple? Mm -hmm. Do you have eggs? Bananas. Bananas too, right? And and do you have eggs? And cream? No. No. No, no. Okay. <laughs> no. <laughs> this is the usual Salvadorian, right? Only pupusas, <laughs> only pupusas, okay. Eh, okay, Estenia, copiado, ya la vamos a hacer participar. Bienvenida a la clase, a la clase, Estenia. Okay, thank you very much. Thank you very much, Maria René. Now, eh, José Atilio, um, what do you often have for lunch? I often have for lunch mm, what do you buy have? for a week? No, no, no. Is what food? Ah, food. Uh -huh, food. So what do you have for lunch? I often have for lunch medium no no chicken no. chicken rice ah. uh -huh. ah, okay vegetables vegetables chicken chicken, chicken. milk meat ah meat meat is eh? mucha <laughs> carne right <laughs> okay meat do you usually have vegetables at lunch? Yes. Oh, nice. It's important, right? Okay. Thank you, Jose Atilio. Now, uh, who's next? Uh, Jessica Perez, please. Jessica, what do you usually watch on TV? At night. Uh -huh. Night. Uh -huh. what, what do you usually watch? Act movies, a news, noticias, movies. movies. Okay. Yes. 
So what do you usually watch on TV? Movies. Uh -huh. Where do you sometimes go shopping? Mm -hmm. Let me see. Brenda. Where do you usually... No, sometimes, sorry. Where do you sometimes go shopping? Um, I sometimes go to shopping. Go shopping? Go shopping? Go shopping. Um, um, Sunday. On Sunday. But the question is where? In oh. Simán, oh. Prima, Sara. Eh, um, baje MS. <laughs> <laughs> um, I sometimes go shopping uh, Prisma Moda Prisma Moda, okay, nice nice, very good, now next question uh, let me see okay, Jessica Perez, Ingrid, uh, René Alexi René Alexi, what kinds of books do you often read? ¿Qué tipo de libros? ¿Qué tipo de libros? What kind of books do you often read? Mm, pues casi no leo libros. Oh. Why? Why? Because. <laughs> But have you read tengo una de que son obras literarias de la Júpiter. Júpiter, ajá. Luz Negra. Oh. Río yes. Muerto, un autor de aquí del país. Nice. Luz Negra, Luz Negra is the most uh, Gotter and Motter, right? Gotter yes. and Motter, uh -huh. It's two heads, right? Dos cabezas hablando, you know? Sí. This is very popular in El Salvador, right? Okay, nice. Sí, sí, sí. Good. And the last question, the last question goes to uh, Jonathan. Jonathan, hello, 10 cuatro, Jonathan. Uh, what kind of music do you sometimes listen Music listen um, salsa. Salsa. Desde que te conocí, vi la vida salsa. con Doro. Qué okay, nice. Only salsa. Only salsa. Solo, solamente salsa o um, también le hace el curtido ahí. <laughs> no. Um... Rock? Do you like rock, for example? Uh, jazz? Mm. Reggaeton? Cumbias? Cumbia. Cumbia, right? Cumbia, Salvadoreña, yeah. que linda. Tanta boquita yes. para... <laughs> okay. Very good. So what kinds of music do you use? Okay? Very good. Now, these are information questions. Look at the characteristic. All of them use WH word, right? Todas tienen WH, meaning? Yes. And also, we don't say yes or no. We give some specific information, right? Okay. Very good. Now, before I continue, I will take the attendance. Ready? Are you ready? Okay. Uh, Elsa? Present teacher. Thank you. Jessica Carolina? Jessica Araceli. Si gusta Jessica Araceli, me pone la asistencia ahí en, el, en, en un mensaje, ¿verdad? Estenia. Present teacher. ¿Ya puede participar, Estenia? Yes. Yes, excelentoso. Freddy. Present teacher. Thank you, Freddy. Estaré yes. de oyente un ratito, voy a cenar. Ok, me avisa entonces cuando okay. se termine el pollito. Eh, Kenia. Present. Gracias, María. Present. Delia. Present. Ada. Jonathan. Present, teacher. René Alexi. Present, teacher. Brenda. Mm. 
Brenda Elizabeth. Present. Okay. Ingrid. Present teacher. Está de oyente, ¿verdad, Ingrid? O ya puede participar. Ya, teacher. Okay, excelente. Jessica Pérez. Present teacher. Nice. José Tilio. Present. Thank you. Alma, no, Alma, yes, Brenda Lee, right? Si puede, me manda el mensaje en el chat, Brenda Lee. Eh, María René. Present. Thank you. Evelyn, ya se conectó Evelyn. Hello, hello, 10-4, Evelyn. Oh, qué lástima. Ok, William. Present. Es Erenia. Present. Ok. We're ready, right? Now we're going to go to a special feature, right? We're going to share a book. Pay attention, please. Listen. Oh, here I have a message. Estaré oyente, Brenda. Okay, very good, Brenda. No problem. Listen. Page 38, exercise 6, conversation. I get up at noon. Listen and practice. Let's go to the park on Sunday. Okay, but let's go in the afternoon. I sleep late on weekends. What time do you get up on Sundays? At 10 o'clock. Oh, that's early. On Sundays, I get up at noon. Really? Do you eat breakfast then? Sure. I have breakfast every day. Then let's meet at this restaurant at 1 o'clock. They serve breakfast all day. Oh, interesting, right? A restaurant where you can have breakfast all day. In the morning, in the afternoon, right? All the time breakfast, right? Interesting. Good. Repeat after me, please. Let's go to the park on Sunday. Okay. But let's go in the afternoon. I sleep late on weekends. What time do you get up on Sundays? At 10 o'clock. Oh, that's early. That's early. On Sundays, I get up at noon. I get up at noon. Really? Do you eat breakfast then? Do you eat breakfast then? Sure. I have breakfast every day. I have breakfast every day. Then, let's meet at the restaurant. Let's meet at this restaurant at one o'clock. They serve breakfast all day. 
They serve breakfast all day. Now we're going to practice the conversation and we're going to listen and repeat. Page them. three. Des. Listen and repeat. Let's go to the park on Sunday. Okay, but let's go in the afternoon. I sleep late on weekends. What time do you get up on Sundays? At 10 o'clock. Oh, that's early. On Sundays, I get up at noon. Really? Do you eat breakfast then? Sure. I have breakfast every day. Then let's meet at this restaurant at one o'clock. They serve breakfast all day. Very good. Now we're going to practice this conversation. Let me see. Um, Jessica Raselli, ready? Are you ready to participate, Jessica Araceli? Okay. Uh, Estenia, please, are you ready? Yes, teacher. Okay. Very good. So, Erenia, are you ready, Erenia? Yes. Yes, okay. So, uh, Estenia is going to be Jack, right? And... Erenia is going to be Amy. That's it, right? Yes? Okay. Ready? One, two, yes. three, action. Okay. Uh, Erenia, let's go to the park on Sunday. Okay, but let's go in the let's go in the afternoon. I sleep late on weekends. What time did you get, get out on Sunday? At 10 o'clock. Oh, that early on Sundays, I get out at noon. Really? Do you eat breakfast then? Sure, I have breakfast every day. Okay. Oh, sorry, continue, continue, excuse me. <laughs> continue. Then, then let's meet at this restaurant at 1 o'clock. They serve breakfast all day. Nice, thank you. I'm sorry for the interruption, right? Okay, nice. Now I will have Freddy. Ready, Freddy? You're going to be Jack. William? Yes, teacher. Okay, good. William, are you ready? Yes. Yes, okay, you're going to be Amy. Ready? One, two, three, action. Let's go to the park of Sunday. Okay, so let's go in the afternoon. I sleep late on the weekend. What time do you get on the Sundays? At 10 o'clock. Oh, what early on Sunday? I get up on noon. Noon. Really? Do you eat breakfast then? Sure, I have breakfast every day. Then let's meet at this restaurant at one o'clock. They serve breakfast all day. Excellent, also, right? Listen, Freddy. At noon. At noon. At noon. That means al mediodía, right? At noon. Thank you. Thank you very much, right? No, gracias, Maria, please. And 
María René. Gracias, María. You are Jack. And María René, you are Amy. Ready? On your marks, get set, go. Let's go to the park on Sunday. Okay, but let's go in the afternoon. I sleep late on weekends. What time do you get up on Sunday? At 10 o'clock. Oh, that's early. On Sundays, I get up on I get up, up at noon. Really? Do you eat breakfast then? Sure. I have breakfast every day. Then let me at this restaurant at one o'clock. They serve breakfast all day. Okay, nice. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you very much. Now we'll have Delia. Delia, you and Jose Atilio, right? Delia, you are uh, Jack and Jose Atilio is Amy, right? Mm -hmm. Are you ready? Are you ready? Action. Hello. Hello. Delia. Delia, Delia. Okay, so I don't know what happened with Delia. So we're going to go to uh, Jonathan, right? Jonathan, you're going to be Jack. And okay. Jose, Jose Atilio is going to be uh, Amy, right? Now, yes, go. Let's go to the fair on Sunday. Okay, but let's go in the afternoon. I just I just sleep late on weekends. What time do you? <clears throat> pardon. What time do you get up on Sunday? At ten o'clock. Oh, thanks. Early on Sunday, I get up uh, at noon. Really. Do you eat breakfast then? Sure. I have breakfast every day. Then let me ask the restaurant at one o'clock. They serve breakfast all day. Okie dokie. Thank you very much, right? Thank you very much. Now, uh, Rene Alexi and Jessica Perez, right? Rene Alexis and Jessica Perez. Now, Rene Alexi, you're going to be Jack, and Jessica is going to be Amy, right? Ready? Go. Let's go to park on Sunday. Okay, but let's go in the afternoon. I sleep late on weekend. Weekend. What day, weekend. Mm -hmm. what day do you get it on Sunday? Get up. Up ten o'clock. Get up. Get up. Uh. Get up. Up ten. Uh, up ten o'clock. Oh, that's early on Sunday. I get up on at noon. Really? Do you eat breakfast ten? Sure, I have breakfast and. Every day. Then let's meet at the restaurant at one o'clock. They serve break a day. All day, right? Okay, okay, nice. Thank you, right? So who's missing? Let me see who's missing. Ingrid, Ingrid, are you ready? No, okay, very good, no problem. Now, oh yes, Ingrid? Okay, I am going to be Jack, Ingrid, and you're going to be Amy, right? Ready? Okay, yes. uh, let's go to the park on Sunday. <laughs> let's go to the park on no, Sunday. No, no, you're Amy, you're Amy. Okay, say, okay, teacher. <laughs> no, okay, Jack, okay, Jack, okay. Let's go to the park on Sunday. No, no, no. That's that's me. I am Jack, and you're Amy, Ingrid. 
You say, yeah. okay, but yeah. let's go in the afternoon. Uh -huh. Okay, ready? Yes. Okay, go. Okay, but let's go in the afternoon. I sleep late on weekends. Mm, what time do you get up on Sundays? At 10 o'clock. I 10 o'clock. Oh, that's early. On Sundays, I get up at noon. Really? Do you eat breakfast then? Sure. I have breakfast every day. Then, let's meet at this restaurant at 1 o'clock. They serve breakfast every day. All day. All day. Good. Listen for the, thank you very much, Ingrid. Thank you, thank you. Now let's listen. For Page the 38, Please. exercise six, conversation. I get up at noon. Listen and practice. Let's go to the park on Sunday. Okay, but let's go in the afternoon. I sleep late on weekends. What time do you get up on Sundays? At 10 o'clock. Oh, that's early. On Sundays? I get up at noon. Really? Do you eat breakfast then? Sure. I have breakfast every day. Then let's meet at this restaurant at 1 o'clock. They serve breakfast all day. Okie dokie. So that's it, right? But the most important part here is, pay attention please, is what time do you get up on Sunday, right? And then, this is an information question. You see? What time do you get up on Sunday? You don't say, what time do you get up? Yes, I am. <laughs> no, right. Oh, yes, I do. No, no, it's ah, a specific information at 10 o'clock, right? Okay. Now, let's see. Look at the difference between the yes, no question. When I say, eh, do you get up early? Yes, I do. No, I don't. Right? But with the question, what time do you get up? At 10 o'clock, right? One is a yes, no question, and the other one is information. Listen, please. Page 39, exercise 7, grammar focus. Simple present questions. Do you get up early? No, I get up late. Does he eat lunch at noon? No, he eats lunch at one o'clock. Do they take the bus to class? No, they take the subway. What time do you get up? At 10 o'clock. What time does he have dinner? At 8 o'clock. When do they take the subway? On Tuesdays and Thursdays. Okay, you, you see? One is yes, no, and the other one is a specific information. And look at the structure, right? W is word, auxiliary, subject, and verb, right? Okay? Here we have some expressions we use when we talk about the simple present, right? Mm-hmm. Okay, now we're going to make an exercise here, right? We already make this, right? Okay. Uh, these are some people, right? And these people uh, have one specific schedule. Schedule is horario, right? Let's talk, talk about... Uh, Brittany Davis, right? Brittany Davis is a student from a university. So Mike is making questions to this week. So Mike says, what's your schedule like? And Brittany says, my classes start at 8 a.m. So I get up at 7 a.m. And take the bus to school. When do your classes end? 
Oh, they end or they finish at noon. Uh, then I have a job at the library. So when do you study? My only time to study is in the evening from 8 until month, midnight, sorry. Midnight, okay? Good. Now here we have another character. His name is Justin Reed. Mike says, what's your schedule like, Justin? And you're just saying, I get up at 6.15 a.m. and start work at 9. And what do you do before work? I go for a run at 6.30 a.m. And then I have breakfast at 7. And after work, I finish at 6 p.m. and I have dinner downtown. Mm, dinner, right? Do you work every day? No, I work on Fridays, Saturdays, and Sundays. Okay, look at this routine, right? We have the routine of uh, Brittany Davis, right? Justin Reed. Brittany Davis is a student from a college, right? A college or university, it's the same way. Don't say college is colegio. No, 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 no. College is university. And Justin is a city tour guide. Es un guía turístico de la ciudad, right? These are the schedule, horarios. Now let's talk about, about Maya Chu. Chu, 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 Chu. Okay, she's a rock musician. Mike says, what's your schedule like? And Maya said, well, I work at night. I go to work at 10 p.m. And I play until 3 a.m. What do you do after work? She said, I have dinner at 3.30 or 4. Then I take a taxi home. What time do you go to bed? Mimir. I go to bed at 5 o'clock in the morning. Okay, so notice the, the, the schedules of the activities these people do every day, right? What about you? How are your activities every day? Mm -hmm. Okay, any question? Now, we are going to uh, check another exercise. Let me see what do we have here. Okay. This is another conversation. And we are going to talk about, yes, WH words. We are going to have this, right? Okay, let me see. Oh, here is the conversation. To introduce only the information question. Listen, please. Listen. Page 64, exercise 2, conversation. I love sports. Listen and practice. So, Justin, what do you do in your free time? Well, I love sports. Really? What sports do you like? My favorites are hockey, baseball, and soccer. Wow, you're a really good athlete. When do you play all these sports? Oh, I don't play these sports. What do you mean? I just watch them on TV. I don't play, Ray. He says he just watch the sports on TV, okay? Now listen and repeat, please. Listen and repeat. Listen and practice. Repeat. So, Justin, what do you do in your free time? Well, I love sports. Really? Repeat, please, repeat. What sports do you like?
My favorites are hockey, baseball, and soccer. Wow. You're a really good athlete. When do you play all these sports? Oh, I don't play these sports. What do you mean? I just watch them on TV. Okay. You see, if you have any question, please tell me, right? Si hay preguntas sobre las conversaciones, pregúntenme. Si hay alguna palabra que no entiendan, estoy a sus órdenes, right? Here I am. Sir, yes, sir, right? Good. Now I need two volunteers to practice this conversation. Only two volunteers. That's all, right? Volunteer. Me, teacher. Thank you, Freddy. Freddy versus? Freddy versus. Freddy and? Only Freddy. Come on. Oh, yes. Thank you. Gracias, Maria. Teacher. Gracias, Maria. You are? Uh, uh -huh. Yes, Estenia? Me, teacher. Ah, you want to participate. Okay, good. So, yes. uh, Estenia, the second conversation, the second time, right? Uh, At this moment, Thank we you. have, okay, give me a second. We have Freddy and Gracia Maria, right? Odelia. Gracia Maria. Gracia Maria, okay. Freddy and Gracia Maria. Action. So, Justin, what do you do in your free time? Well, I love sports. Really? What sports do you like? My favorites are hockey, baseball, and soccer. Wow, you're really a good athlete. When do you play uh, this sport? Oh, I don't play this sport. What do you mean? I just watch things on TV. Okay. Thank you, Estenia, please. And who wants to help Estenia? ¿Quién me le quiere ayudar a Estenia? Another volunteer? Me, teacher. Oh, I have more. <laughs> okay, ya. Yeah. Se me va a ir haciendo más parejita. Okay, so Estenia e Ingrid in Kenya in the third occasion, right? Okay, Ingrid, you're going to be Lauren. And Estenia, sorry, you're going to be Justin, right? One, two, three, okay. action. So, Justin, what do you do in your free time? Well, I love I love a sport. <laughs> really? What sport do you like? My favorite are hockey, baseball, and soccer. Wow, you're really good athlete. When do you play? I this sport? Oh, I don't play this sport. What do you mean? I just watch the of TV. Again, Estenia, I just I just watch them. Watch them. Watch them. Watch them. On TV. On TV. I just watch them on TV. <laughs> Repeat, please. <laughs> I just watch them on TV. I just watch them on TV. Okay, thank you, thank you, right? Very much. Okay, Kenya, please. Anybody else? Can me le quiere ayudar a Kenya? Me, teacher. Okay, uh, Delia, right? So, Delia, you're Lauren. And Kenya is Justin, right? One, okay. two, three, action. So, Justin, what do you do in your free time? Well, I love a sport. Really? What sport do you like? My favorite are hockey, baseball, and soccer. Wow, you're really good at this. When, when do you play all this sport? Oh, I don't play this sport. What do you mean? I what do you mean? I just watch them on TV. Watch them? Watch them? 
what's name? Okay, excellent. Very good. Now, notice the use of information question here, right? Look. What do you do in your free time? ¿Qué hace en tu tiempo libre? You don't say, what do you do in your free time? <laughs> yes, I am. No. I say, I do this, I do that, etc., cetera, etc., cetera, right? Other example is, what sports do you like? Okay. And when do you play all this sport, right? Uh, here. Okay. Good. So these are information questions. Also, what do you mean? ¿Qué, qué quieres decir? ¿A qué te referís? What do you mean? All of these are yes, no question, right? We're going to see examples of information question. Okay, give me a second. Uh -huh, okay, very good. Now, listen, please, and watch. Page 65, exercise 3, grammar focus. Simple present WH questions. What sports do you play? I play hockey and baseball. Who do you play baseball with? I play with some friends from work. Where do you play? We play at Hunter Park. How often do you practice? We practice once or twice a week. When do you practice? We practice on Sundays. What time do you start? We start at 10 o'clock in the morning. Good. Notice how do they make specific question and a specific uh, answer. What sports? ¿Qué deportes? Ah, hockey and baseball, right? Who? Who do you play baseball with? Ah, this is a good question, right? Who do you play baseball with? This who is a uh, subject or object, right? Subject object. or object? Yes. Oh. Of course, it's an object, right? Because you say, you play. Tú juegas con esta persona. No sé quién es. Por eso te lo pregunto. So you say, who do you play baseball with? So in this case, it's an object. It's a receiver, right? Uh, I play with some friends. ¿Con quién jugas? Con unos amigos, right? Where do you play? In hunt, at Hunter Park, right? El Parque del Cazador. How often do you practice? We practice once or twice a week. Uh, when do you play? On Sunday. What time do you start? At 10 o'clock. So a specific question, a specific answer, right? You don't say, when do you practice? I practice in my house. No, because you're talking about time. Uh-huh. Or you don't say, what sports do you, what sport? Uh, I, I live in... In Sacamil, right? No, no. No, you say specific question, specific answer. Si me preguntan sobre quién, respondo sobre quién. Si me preguntan de tiempo, tiempo. Si me preguntan de lugar, lugar. Right? Understand? Okay. Very good. Now we're going to go to the manual. Vamos a ir al manual, entonces. En lo que vamos, quiero hacerle una pregunta. Usted. Ustedes saben por qué Kellogg's está triste. Está triste Kellogg's. ¿Mm? ¿Alguien sabe? ¿Por qué Kellogg's está triste? No, teacher. Está triste porque chocó Crispy. Chocó Crispy, right? Yes. ¿Y dónde se golpeó? A ver, ¿dónde se golpeó? En su carita. En su carita. <laughs> Very good, Estenia. <laughs> ya se lo puede, ¿verdad? <laughs> okay, now, let's share, right? Let's share. Let's go to the book. Okay, look at this. Here we have some departments, right? The departments. And we are going to match the definition of the department uh, with the 
with the department, of course, right? Now, let me see. Permítame que voy a colocar esto bien por acá. Ok. Un poquitín. Ah, estamos. Excelentoso, right? Ok. Now, production. What is production, class? Volunteers? Volunteers, what is production? Teacher number four. Number four is marketing. But I say number one, production. You read, please. Uh, Reserve. Control. And control. And supervise the production. Control and supervise the production. Full workforce inventor, right? Okay. So that is number one, right? Okay, here. Number one. Uh, research and development. Uh, design, new or improve. Design. Develop. Develop. Develop, design. Design, right? So that is number two. Please. Mm. Mm, what? Yes or no? Yes, it's correct. Don't worry, it's correct, right? Now, uh, purchasing. Purchasing. Buy and. Uh huh, buy and. And at... acquire. Acquire. Acquire, acquire, acquire material, material production. <laughs> Raw material, raw material. Raw material. Material crudo o materia prima, right? Now, marketing. What is marketing, class? Research, um, identify, 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 identify what customer. Okay. That is number four, right? Market. Okay. Then uh, number five, human resources management. Recruit, select, and right new job in the company. In the name of the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. <laughs> okay. Number five, right? And the last one, oof. The most difficult. Oh my goodness. <laughs> hey, Doodly, can you help me, Doodly? Doodly, can you give me the answer? Oh, let me see. And, and this is accounting and finance. Oh my gosh, I don't know. Can you help me, please, students? Keep in finance. Okay, keep in the financial, right? Keep the financial. This is number six. Okie dokie. Nice. Congratulations, right? Now let's continue. Let's continue. Okay, these are the information questions, right? Now we are going to create. Ooh, this is difficult, right? Create the information question, right? So look at this. Let me see what time is it. Oh, quería hacer a break and room, pero ya no nos alcanza el tiempo. Ok, entonces lo vamos a hacer juntos todo, ¿verdad? Eh, let me see. Solo quiero agendar quién se va a quedar conmigo. Diez minutitos extra. Eh, le tocaría a René Alexi. ¿Ready, René Alexi? Yes, teacher. Okidoki, aquí mismo lo anotamos ya. Comprometido, diez minutos extra, right? Ok, good. So listen, pay attention, right? Pay attention because it says, I have to write a report about production every Friday. So what is the possible information question? In this case is what? Number one is what, right? Number Teacher. Two. Yes, yes. Eh, no podría ser también when. When do you? Yes, it could be. 
you're right. It could be when. Yes. Good. Number two. Uh, what is the possible question? Where? Because it's the blue building, right? En el edificio azul, you know. Blue building. Okay. And Maria and I start working at 10 p.m. What time? What time? What time? Correct. Yes. And number four. This, we design another street. Nosotros decíamos, what? Mm. What do? No, oh, it's who? How. Oh, how. How do you? Como. How. Como. Ustedes crean un nuevo producto, oh. right? How. And number five, they have a meaning because. Why? 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 Correct, right? Now, class, let's do the questions. Let's do it, babies. Two minutes. Come on. Okay, class, are you ready? Are you ready? Okay, number one, volunteers, please. Let's do it together, right? Me, teacher. Thank you, Freddy. Come on, please. Uh, when do you write report? When do you write report? report? When do you write reports? I write re a report about the production every Friday. Mm. But it says a report, right? A report. It's not that you do a report every Friday. Eh, Freddy, aquí es como que tengo que escribir un reporte es cada viernes. Mm. Sí, creo ¿Sí? Que es every Friday, yes. Es que dice every Friday. What? Es, es, what do you write? No, no, tam, también aplica, creo, porque dice que yo pensé que decía on Friday. Pero es every Friday. Solo, solo una vez, no, no, que es every Friday, ajá. So when, pero también aplica what. Sí. What do you have to do on Friday, right? In this case, I have to write a report. Okay, thank you. Thank you, Freddy. Good. Number two, volunteers. Where do you work? Where do Where you do work? You... Excellent. Where do you work? Where do you work? Okay. And number three. Let me see here. What right. time? What time do Maria and you start work? What time? What time do Maria and you start, start work? Working, right? Working. What time do you 
No, Don Maria in, in, in your, no, and you is. Start working. Okay. What time do Maria and you start working? Okay, number four. What do we do in the Rem work? Remember, and the number four is started with how. Como, como lo hacen, right? How do you design? How? How do you design? How do you create, right? Create. Mm. How do you create the new product, right? The new product. Ooh, sorry. Excuse me. Ya es la hora, ¿verdad? What is that? Ya la batería está un poquito. <laughs> okay. How do you create the new product? We design and others create and ¿Cómo lo hacemos? Bueno, uno, des, uno eh, des, diseñamos y los otros crean. Ajá. No, hay, es que, porque la respuesta dice, nosotros diseñamos y otros crean de New Product. Ajá. Entonces sería, which, no, no. No, no, we which is, design... which is no. what, what de este? What, este, este? what teacher? Yeah. Oh, who design? Who do design and no? Who design and create? No, who design and who create? Could be two questions. How do you pregunta, create the new product? We design you... and mm -hmm. others create the new products. Uh -huh. That is logic, right? Creo no. que eso es un poquito así como, como un poco más lógico, ¿verdad? How do you create? Permítame un segundito que se nos ha colado otro micrófono por ahí. Ok, ahí estamos. Good? So, I don't know. What do you think, right? But for me, it looks good. Right? Para mí se ve bien esta pregunta, ¿sí? Yes? Ok. So, it's like you say, right? I don't know you, but in my case, I look this question. Good. Yeah, baby. Okay. Very good. Now let's continue. They have a meeting because, because we have to. Why, why do why? they have a meeting? Why do you? Why do they? Do have... they have a meeting? <laughs> why do you? And they, no, they, they, what do control. they? Excuse me, easy, right? No, 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 pegar. <laughs> Why do they? I say, you, yes, but they, oh, sorry. <laughs> Why, do they? Why do they have a meeting? Okay. Why do they have a meeting, right? Okay, thank you very much, right? Now, question and answer, question and answer. Let me see. Eh, who's going to make the question? Vamos a ver, ¿quién, ¿quién me ayuda a hacer las preguntas? ¿Ah? Volunteer, please. Okay, thank you, Ingrid, thank you very much. And the answers, ¿quién me va a ayudar con las respuestas? Who is going to help me with the answer? Your teacher. Okay, thank you, Jose Atilio. Ready? One, two, three, action. When do you write reports? I have to write a report about production every Friday. Where do you work? I work in the blue building. What time do Maria and you start working? Maria and I start working at 10 p.m. How do you create? Create the new product. We design and other create the new products. Why? Why do you they have 
a meeting. Mm, sorry, sorry. Why do they? Why do they have a meeting? They had a meeting because we have to talk about the inflow and outflow. Okay, thank you very much, right? Good, any extra question? No? Okay, so I will take the attendant, right? Voy a tomar asistencia y me quedo solamente con René Alexi. Okay, very good. Ladies and gentlemen, the attendance. Sorry, my pen. Perdón, que este Dudley me ha robado el, el lapicero. Aquí está. Ok, good. Ready? Eh, I start with... Vamos a comenzar de abajo para arriba. Yes. Erenia. Present. Ok, see you tomorrow, Erenia. God bless you. Good night. Good night. Eh, William. Good night. Good night. God bless you. Eh, Evelyn Janet se pudo conectar Evelyn, no, verdad, Ay, qué lástima bueno, ok eh, María René present, good night ok, good night uh, Alma Brenda Lee Brenda Lee ok eh, presente, dice, sí have a good night, Brenda Lee God bless you eh, José Atilio Present, good night. Good night, God bless you. Jessica Perez. Present, good night. Good night, Ingrid. Present, teacher, good night. Good night. Brenda. Present, good night. Good night, God bless you. See you tomorrow. Rene Alexi. Present, teacher. Thank you. No se me va a escapar, oiga. Jonathan. Present teacher. Thank you. See you tomorrow. God bless you. Vamos a ver. Delia. Present. Good night, teacher. Good night. God bless you. See you tomorrow. Gracias, María. Present. Bye bye. Eh, Kenya Stephanie. Present. Kenya. Okay. See you tomorrow. Freddy. Present. See you. Have a good night. Good Est night. Estenia. Present. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Eh, Jessica. Araceli. Jessica estaba doyente, ¿verdad? Jessica, hello, 10-4. Me copia, Jessica. Veamos, dice Brenda Lista, presente. Good night. Ok. Muy bien. Um, gracias, María. Present. Ok, have a good night. Good Elsa. Night. Present. Good night. Okay. Get better, que se mejore. Thank you. You're welcome. Good. Jessica Araceli, me copia. Ahí me ponen el chat presente, ok. Jessica, God bless you. Good. Good. Um, hello, René Alexi. ¿Qué tal le han parecido las clases? No. Good, profe. Good, good. Ok. Muy bien. ¿Es primera vez que toma un curso en línea? Sí, teacher. Ah, muy bien. ¿Cómo, ¿Cómo ha sentido? No es lo mismo que estar en una clase, ¿no? pero... No, pero siento que cuesta un poquito más... Porque no es como estar ahí enfrente de usted y usted mismo explique la pizarra y uno pasa a pronunciar. Ajá. Es como más diferente. Sí, sí, muy bien. Eh, veo que hay que trabajar un poquito con la pronunciación, ¿verdad? Sí, dicho. Este, le voy a dar algunos consejos. Eh, ¿Usted uh -huh. tiene alguna aplicación como Netflix, eh, HBO o algo así? No, no utilizo no eso. Nada, de ningún tipo, ni de Disney ni nada. No, teacher. Híjole, qué lástima, porque fíjese que si usted ve una película, por ejemplo, eh, y va repitiendo lo que dice en la película, pues es no todo, ¿verdad? Pero un poquito, eso le puede ayudar muchísimo. Um, y de los libros que he mandado, bueno, solo he mandado un libro, creo, o dos. Quiero ver. 
dos libros he mandado, audiolibros. ¿Los abrió, los practicó? No, estoy viéndolos abiertos. Ah, bueno, son Digamos, bien. Va, voy a ah. trabajar, vengo a trabajar, vengo a hacer cosas, después me conecto a la clase. Quiere decir que casi no le queda tiempo. ¿Y el sábado y domingo? Me pongo a hacer otras cosas como a arreglar el patio, ver qué le hago los palos. O si me sale un chance de ganarme unas monedas, me voy a ganar más. Bueno, emprendedurismo, ¿verdad? Sí. Entrepreneur. <risa> Muy bien, entonces sí, casi no le queda tiempo, la verdad. Sí, pero, puede haber. Pero, pero sí. hay que hacerlo, ni modo, hay que hacerlo, ¿verdad? Voy a ver si un día de esto los abro. Abra los libros y lo que, vale, lo que quiero es lo siguiente que haga. Que, que vaya repitiendo. Uh -huh. ¿Sí? Porque es lo que necesitamos mejorar. Eh, ¿Qué otra cosa? Ah, la música. Usted tiene acceso a YouTube. Sí. Vale, muy bien. Entonces, ahí vaya a YouTube y ponga alguna canción que a usted le guste en inglés. Y lo que sí necesito es que se aprenda una. Pero se va a aprender una, una canción. semanal. Una ¿Sí? semanal. Sí. Si usted quiere mejorar, va a poner la let el video y que le aparezca la letra ahí abajo. ¿Sí? Mm. Por ejemplo, no sé, ¿qué me imagino yo? Una canción de Adele, por ejemplo, ¿verdad? O de Coldplay, por ejemplo. No sé si a usted le gusta la música en inglés. No mucho, porque digo, no logro entenderme qué me quiere decir, digo. Ah, pues, es la idea, es la idea de entender lo que quiere decir, ¿verdad? Si usted empieza, si nunca escucha, pues nunca va a saber qué dice. Uh -huh. pero, pero si usted eh, practica, entonces va a ir aprendiendo poquito a poquito a escuchar y a entender qué es lo que dicen las canciones. Vaya, hay dos situaciones que puede hacer. Si tiene Spotify, en Spotify. Si tiene YouTube, en YouTube. ¿Se acuerda, vale, alguna, en YouTube. ¿Se acuerda de alguna canción viejita? No. La, que, la que sí me llegaría, la que sí siento que me gusta bastante, son las del Malcolm Jackson. Ah, Michael Jackson. Tiene un poco más Pire, de... Pire, pire. O Thriller. Tum, tum, uh -huh. tum, tum, tum. Las que son, ¿cómo se llama? Más ah. maya, llamativas. Sí, sí, correcto. Mi favorita es Billie Jean. Billie Jean. No, y me gustan dos canciones de él, más que todo, porque una sobre tarde de largo sobre la guerra y una que mm. la firma en Brasil. Oh, sí es cierto. Fueron de los últimos videos que grabó Mike sí, Siento que uno vive, además que cuando habla más cuando intenta expresar cómo fue la guerra, cómo se vivió. Dale. Interesante, ¿no? Sí. Bueno, mm -hmm. entonces puede aprenderse una de esas canciones. Uh -huh. ¿Sí? Va vale, muy bien. Y de los temas que hemos explicado gramaticalmente, ¿qué tema le ha parecido más difícil? Temas, temas. O no se le llega la, la, la parte la, la es. Ah, muy bien. Cuando se le agrega. Porque a mí me digo, ¿a cuáles que le voy a poner? ¿A cuáles no? Me quedo eso es lo que le cuesta. Ah, bueno. Este, eso es sencillo, pero tiene que memorizárselo. ¿Verdad? Sí. Vaya, son ciertas reglas. Mire, la número uno dice que la mayoría de verbos en tercera persona, pero sí entiende que es la tercera persona. Poco. Va, la tercera persona es de quién hablamos. Digamos, eh, le me, voy a mencionar un alumno, José Atilio, ¿sí? Uh -huh. Vaya, yo soy, yo le estoy hablando, mire, José Atilio es un ingeniero, fíjese, y él vive en El Salvador y a él le gustan las pupusas. Vaya, yo soy la que, que usted es la primera persona y la segunda, yo hablando. Es la tercera que hablamos. No, ajá, ok, entonces usted me escucha, usted es segunda persona. Uh -huh. Y estamos hablando de José Atilio y él, él es una tercera persona, ¿Ya? ¿Sí me entiende? Sí, un poco ya. Ah, muy bien. Entonces, cuando hablemos de esa tercera persona en singular, porque hay una que es plural, de ahí, pero cuando hablemos de esa tercera persona, vamos a escribirlo aquí, si quieren. She, he, and it. Cuando mm. hablemos de eso, le vamos a agregar una S, mire. Ad S.
Ok, agreguémosle la S. Por ejemplo, work, works. ¿vale? Ya le agregamos la S. ¿vale? Pero cuando hablo en primera persona, digo, I work, you work, he works. Cuando hablo de él, imagínense de Atilio, digo, he works. Y le agrego una S. Segunda regla. Si el verbo termina en una de estas letras, mire, SH, SH, S, Z, O, O. Ok. En ese caso le vamos a agregar S. ¿Y cuál ponemos de ejemplo? Veamos. Watch. Observar, mire. She watches, ¿ve? I watch. She watches. Le agregamos una S, ¿ve? S. ES, ¿verdad? Mm. Muy bien. Y la tercera regla es que si el verbo termina en una Y precedida de consonante, le cambiamos esa Y a la Y latina. Ahí es, ahí. Permítame, que aquí ya me está escapando esto. Ahí está. Change the Y to I, right? Cambiamos la Y por Y latina. Y luego le agregamos S. S. Ajá. Permítame que ya es la hora. Ya estamos. <ríe> Nochecita, ¿verdad? Freddy. René, perdón, Freddy. Le digo yo. René Alexi, ¿ok? Sí, dicho. Permítame. A es Watch Watches. Ahí estamos, mire. Ahí está, ya está. Mm. Ya le cambiamos. Le agregamos en add y es. Ahí estamos, ok. Ahí estamos con la regla, ¿sí? Y la cuatro es cuando es irregular, mire. Ah, pero, pero me faltó el ejemplo, ¿verdad? Por ejemplo, study, estudiar. Le cambiamos la Y por Y latina y decimos study. Y luego le agregamos a eso. Studies. She Ay. studies. He studies. He ¿Sí? studies. Y la número cuatro es irregular, ¿verdad? B. Permítame. B es igual a is. She is, he is, it is. Y cuando hablamos de how, vamos a poner has, ¿verdad? Has. Esas son las reglas. Va, esas son las reglas, eh, René Alexi. ¿Entiende sí. las cuatro reglas? Ya, ya las comencé a entender. Vaya, muy bien. Pero cualquier cosa, ahí repasen. ¿Sabe qué? Voy a mandarles un video para que... Ay, dicho. Para que este, afiancemos este tema. Vamos a ver. Tercera persona. Ok. Pero le dejamos la tarea de aprenderse una canción semanal. Oiga. Una canción semanal. Sí. Ya sea de Michael Jackson o de cualquier otro, de Queen o de cualquier otro artista, ¿verdad? Mm -hmm. No sé si tiene alguna pregunta extra, René Alexi. No, solamente eso. Terminamos. Muy bien. Entonces, see you tomorrow. Y lo sí, felicito teacher. por estar haciendo el esfuerzo de todas las noches estar aprendiendo. Oiga. Teacher. Ok. Bye bye. Bye bye, teacher.